man in our blue corner. Place out of the Taylor May Muay Thai gym. Weighing in at 68.5 kilos. Give it up for Jaya Washington. Alrighty. His opponent fighting out of the UFC gym on the Gold Coast. Hit the scales. Also at 68.5 kilos. This is Travis Charlton. Fight number 11. Travis Charlton from the UFC gym. And Jill Washington from TaylorMade Muay Thai. Here we go. Just grab this one off you for a second. Around yeah. one. Travis Charlton in the red corner, Jill Washington, Washo in the blue. Boys are definitely into it this first round, straight away, some big knees right there. It's one thing we've noticed, Chad, is um, particularly on this main card, the opening rounds have all just been flat stick. Yep, yep. I think you get that with some, some of... Uh, Depending on which sort of level, sometimes if it's a higher level, they might start a bit slower, and if they're a bit, on, bit more newer to it, they'll yeah. uh, be very eager to start. And, and, and certainly the case where you, you sort of say to yourself, oh, well, the person opposite me can cause me a lot of harm at your level, <laughs> so I might take it a little easier. They pulled apart again. I think it's been an incredibly well-matched card so far, and looking forward to the semi-main and main event. There's a couple times there Travis has put his head down which can be quite dangerous. Yeah, we've seen that attempt to have the effect of people walking into knees just like that nearly yeah. happened. Definitely, uh, definitely can't go putting your head down. That's uh, some world champion advice right there. Charlton throwing one a big right hand from Charlton, but somehow Washington still standing and he skips in and looks to reclaim the initiative. That's the same thing of, of Jaden, the padded elbows, Chad. I don't know how much you've had to fight with them, maybe in Europe and places like that, but are they making a huge difference to the impact when it comes? Um, mate, like the impact of the power is still there. It's still a, it's still an instrument that's hitting you. Um, but I think it's just uh, you don't have that sharp sort of bony yeah, point that's less hitting. Likely to so, cut you. so you're not going to get sliced up, but the impact is still there. You can still get knocked very easy with, with the elbow pads on. It's like uh, wrapping a cricket bat in a pillow. Yeah, we? exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Still getting hit with a cricket bat. We'll check out these highlights. Uh, thanks to AHI, Chad, a fairly um, evenly matched uh, first round. Yep, uh, both boys going hard, coming in strong, um, trying to make a bit of a pocket or an opening, trying some new things I reckon Seconds well. down. Letting go of some elbows, which uh, sometimes takes a fair few fights to get to that stage. Mm -hmm. Right now, a lot of people are just fighting elbows straight away, as it should be. Round two. As Muay it should be. There you go. The decree from the king, if you don't mind. And Washington starts with a head kick, almost as if he's heard the shark from ringside. And unloads again, but some nice tight defense from Charlton. But again, he's tending to crane, he's tending to hinge at that hip. And it's giving him all sorts of trouble right here. It's not where you want to be. <laughs> Washington definitely being the one that's pushing forward and setting the pace now. Absolutely, and Charlton looks incredibly tough as he eats a shin to the neck and just keeps going. Um, but that's going to accumulate either through points or damage, isn't it? And eventually you need to look at how do I fight and not put myself in those situations. Yep. Five See here for a big thing right now. See how Blue Corner has his back in the corner. What he should be doing is turning out of that corner 
and put it and putting the other fella into the corner. So yeah. having his back to the to the center of the ring and controlling the ring. And every time that Charlton hinges at that hip, he provides distance for the taller man to uppercut and knee as well. Um, it just it just makes it difficult for him to you know to stay out of contact as we see the same thing happening here. Two and three knees. This kid's trying to steal your world championship belt ringside. Classic Chad Collins just <laughs> gives his world championship belt to strangers. <laughs> it's for the people in here. Uh, Travis Charlton. He's breathing heavy. Washington. Left body kick. Beautiful in defense and attack. Fires the knee, fires the left hook, and it might just be the bell that saves Charlton on this occasion. Yep, Charlton hanging on there in those final seconds, definitely. Just felt that Washington grew a leg in confidence there, Chad. What did you see? Yep, always that way. As soon as you see the chink in the armor or a little glimpse of, of an angle where you can hurt someone, mm. attack them, or get a few points up, um, definitely grows the confidence and you become a bigger, a bigger fighter. Yeah, those round highlights, thanks to AHI. Of course, they are the leaders in mechanical engineering um, for really, really big boats and super yachts. And we see here that dominance just start to come through. He's making his opponent miss, but I feel perhaps it's, and correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, it's the conditioning and the, the condition that, that Charlton's finding himself in, which is allowing Washington to dictate the pace. Yeah, yeah. And definitely the way like he's choosing to to step back or to crumble in before the shot is Round arriving three. instead of yeah. active. instead of push kick instead of bracing for it. Or lateral sorry. movement yeah. or something and this will be the third and final round. Travis Charlton in the red. We believe Joe Washington is ahead as he loops high on the left side, follows with a knee and puts a beautiful right hand counter and encouraging for Charlton that he looked to go forward and add to that. Throughout the fight, Washington been landing some nice left and right knees throughout throughout all three rounds. It's going to be a lot of sore people on the Gold Coast tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely. The right hand of Charlton finding a home a few times. Elbow from Washington. Yep. He's got him pinned in the corner now. Look, he's stepping back. Now, you definitely in this situation would not let him out of the corner. Every time he steps out, you step, cut him off. Don't step back out of the center ring because both men are absolutely stuffed. But the words from the world champ is when you've got someone hurt, you've just got to go for it. It's all in, isn't it, at the table? It's all in. Why do the hard work, get them to that point, and then just stop? Don't let them yeah. off the hook. It's not a yoga class. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Washington and Charlton, they can't be oh, he's to go. On. He's hanging on. Big knees coming. Oh, boy. Corner, calling for knees. See how he stepped back then and let him out of the corner? Should not have let him out of the corner. Well, the other thing is it doesn't look like he's got any damage coming his way. I feel like he could just stand in the pocket and go. Yeah. Hey, hey, save by the bell. A comprehensive performance, you have to say, from Gia Washington. Tough from Travis Charlton. And can we get Trent from AI Chai can, to present the trophy, please? Can certainly get the decision but uh, be very surprised Chad if it doesn't go the way of the blue corner yeah I definitely think it was a matter of uh, training uh, I think Washington generally trained harder for this fight his condition looks a lot better whereas Charlton is a lot more fatigued and tired and maybe just hasn't put in as much hard work as what Washington did yeah you might think that that's potentially harsh or whatever else but there that's the mentality if you want to that's the truth if you want to uh, yeah. make, if you want to better yourself in this sport there's no yep. shortcut um, yep. and Charlton certainly showed that he's got a lot of tenacity he's got a lot of technique but you, you unless you can be in the fight right at the end 
Yeah. You really find so the one hand so time yeah. up behind your back. So important to have that gas tank back in you the whole way through. Yeah. Well, there's that many fighters who have maybe been less... Trent from AHI, if you're here, through their training we're about to do the presentation. Yeah. World, world All right, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our two fighters, please. As we go to the judges' scorecards, we have a unanimous decision. And it goes to the blue corner, Jaya Washington. There we go, as expected, the blue corner with a shutout.